breaking news from CBS 17 News. Breaking news as the city of Raleigh will be under a curfew each of the next two nights beginning at 10 p.m. This was just one announcement from Mayor Marianne Baldwin at a press conference this morning. CBS 17's Colleen Quickly was there. She joins us live with the details. Colleen. Yeah, Felicia and Bill, when asked about that curfew, the mayor saying hindsight was 2020, and it's something she actually wished she had done on Sunday night. Obviously, we know there was uh, vandalism and looting downtown after peaceful protests during the day Saturday. Some of that continuing into Sunday. Well, now that curfew once again going in place at 10 p.m. tonight, and it will continue this weekend because there are more peaceful protests planned. Now, in relation to the events this weekend, the mayor saying that uh, police are going to, there's going to be a report given to the city so they can examine all uses of force by police over the weekend. She also says members of city council will participate in racial equity training this summer. Uh, she called the events of this week a learning lesson for the city uh, and a time to listen to the black and brown communities here in Raleigh. One of the things that we've been hearing over and over again this week is people in Raleigh, they want to see changes in the police department, uh, specifically policy changes to hold officers more accountable. And one of the other things we've heard is people People want are asking for the chief, Cassandra Deck Brown, to be removed if these policy changes aren't put in place. The mayor to today saying she is firmly behind the police chief, and officers gathered here started to cheer when the mayor said that. Take a listen. People are angry, they are venting, and they want to be heard. The fact is, the Raleigh City Council supports our police chief. Chief has 32 years of experience. She has always been courageous, compassionate, professional, and demonstrated grace. We have her back now, and we support her. Today, the mayor also saying we must have tough conversations about our past. We must listen and learn from each other. This is the opportunity. Uh, she also said today that at the next city council meeting, they're going to begin to appoint citizens to the police advisory board. Uh, this has been something groups, including Raleigh Pact, have been asking for for years now. Uh, they're going to start doing that next week. And she asked one of their first order of businesses is to consider the eight can't wait campaign. Uh, it's recommendations uh, to introduce more de-escalation tactics to police departments and to ban some policies including the use of chokeholds and also to ask officers to step in if they see a fellow officer getting excessively violent during an arrest again that's something she wants to con that she's going to ask that board to consider once they start appointing them at the next city council meeting for now reporting live in raleigh colleen quigley cbs 17 news